In this video, we're going to discuss the Strucker synthesis. The Strucker synthesis is one of two different ways of making amino acids that you need to know for the MCAT. The other method is the Gabriel synthesis, which we're going to discuss in the next video. So Strucker synthesis is a way of making amino acids from an aldehyde. So you can see here, we're starting with an aldehyde where we have the carbonyl, and on one side we have an R group, the other side we have a hydrogen. So this is an aldehyde. Now, the choice of the aldehyde is very important because the aldehyde that you choose is going to determine what the side chain of your amino acid is going to be. So you can see here, we have in red this methyl group, CH3. The CH3 is going to be the side chain of the amino acid we produce, which means in this case, we're trying to produce alanine, whose side chain is a methyl group. Okay, so now for structure synthesis, there are three steps, amine formation, alpha amino nitrile formation, and hydrolysis. The first step of amine formation, you should be familiar with in our videos covering carbonyl chemistry. If you recall, ammonium is weakly acidic, so there are free proton city in solution. The carbonyl oxygen will bind to one of those free protons in solution, giving the carbonyl a full positive charge. With this full positive charge, the carbonyl is now an excellent electrophile, so the ammonia will attack as a nucleophile. And in a few additional steps, once the ammonia has added, this is going to result in the formation of an imine. So this is an imine, if you recall. Here we have a carbon double bonded to a nitrogen. Now, the imine in many ways is very similar to the carbonyl. This imine carbon is also electrophilic because nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon. So since this is a good electrophile, if we introduce in our second step potassium cyanide, cyanide CM minus is a strong nucleophile and will go ahead and attack the imine carbon. This will result in the alpha amino nitrile. We can see here why it's called the alpha amino nitrile. The CN group is a nitrile group and the amino group is this NH2 group right here. And we can see here that they're both on this alpha carbon. So alpha amino nitrile. Our last step is hydrolysis. So hydrolysis is simply just taking your compound and exposing it to water. And here it's going to be an acidic solution. An acidic solution, the nitrile group will actually hydrolyze to form a carboxylic acid. And of course, since the amino group is basic, it's going to become protonated. So this is going to form our product. And you can see that our product right here is alanine, where we have all of the different components of amino acids. You have the carboxylic acid functional group, you have the amino group, you have the side chain, and not drawn in, of course, is the hydrogen that is also connected to that alpha carbon. Okay. So this is the Strucker synthesis. 